wasn't one solution to, you know, to manage the whole compliance pro uh, process. Right. It wasn't just regulatory compliance. You know, every company has different brand standards. You have to differentiate yourself from your competitors, right? So the way you greet your customers, the way you store your product, the products that you choose to carry, all of those are part of your, you know, should be part of your training, right? Depending on which um, uh, position you're in. And, um, you know, literally some companies, you know, one department would have their SOPs in SharePoint. One department would have their SOPs in Dropbox. One would have them on some computer someplace in Word format. Some would have them printed on the bottom shelf of the cultivation facility in case the, the you know, a regulator came in. I mean, it was just, you know, it, things were not tied down by yes. any stretch of the imagination. Um, and, you know, at the end of my time, um, um, I, the applications had slowed because the growth curve, we had grown so much and I was a regulatory specialist and, you know, you'd get calls from people in departments that had been there for a while. Like, I want to change the SOP. Can I do this? Well, no, you can't. Right. But like th that, that person didn't have the resources to be able to figure that out. You know, yeah. so there was a lot of time spent, a lot of calls to attorneys. Um, and, you know, I just kept picturing, you know, for months, this solution, like it doesn't have to be this hard. We just need a system. Let's put a, you know, let's put a hub together where the, the regs are searchable um, in, you know, give everybody access to the regs, policies, procedures, you know quizzing, you know, videos, internal auditing, let's put it all in a user friendly platform. And at the time, I kept thinking of TurboTax, right, they took a, an incredibly difficult subject that a lot of people, most people stressed over. And it's not easy, but they simplified it, you know, they right. gave people some comfort in that there was a system. And so that was always that was the vision behind Procana. Um, and you know, that let's just systematize this. And let's, let's put everybody on the same page when it comes to Again, not just the regulatory standards, but all your brand standards. And, you know, the regulatory standards, they're table stakes. Like that's the minimum bar. Right. It's what you do on top of that that makes all the difference. And, and being able to, you know, make sure all your employees, you know, have access to checklists or if they have a bad day or one of my clients, um, it was a well-run organization, um, but they had uh, different growers in different rooms. And one of the uh, women was on vacation for a week and they brought somebody else in from another room who was an experienced you know, grower. And um, literally she, I don't know what happened, if it was a bad day, if she, you know, uh, if the nutrient mix wasn't right or she overwatered, but in like literally 10 minutes, she wrecked a whole line of plants. I mean, wow. the, the loss was, I forget the number, I'm going to say north of $30,000. You know, it was one mistake. Literally, if there had been a system in place, if there had been a checklist, if there had been any kind of reminder, you know, that kind of stuff. It just, I, there was examples like that over and over that it was just costing money. And of course, then that person feels terrible, right? You know, they, so it's, um, again, Procana was just sort of a, a solution to that. And, and, you know, let's, Let's put everybody together. So. Yeah, because we all want to do our jobs correctly. Yeah. Like no one wants to not screw up their job. And like right. and there's just so many things to follow. Uh, personally, I like to suggest to clients creating what I like to call as like a job aid. So similar to like a checklist, but put your brand standards on it laminate yep. it, put it up on a wall. So it's like right there and everyone sees it and it's a consistent workflow uh, throughout. And I mean, there's just so many examples of this. I know one of your uh, first clients under Procana, they received a massive fine for using the incorrect pesticides. Um, there was one Nevada retailer recently that was fined $45,000 because their point of sale oversold the purchase limits and one sales transactions and submitted it into metric. Like there's so many things that just can go wrong. And, uh, a lot of these people that are on the ground and doing the day in and day and work on the plant touching side are probably not knee deep in regulations like you and I are every single day. <laughs> like, nor, nor should they have to be. Right. Agreed. Agreed. And yeah. like, and they shouldn't have to interpret all of that either, which is one thing that I really loved about Procana. So RMCC, I actually hired a compliance officer for years to have a compliance officer internally that would would keep us up to date on the regulations and we would build out these massive spreadsheets called regulatory matrices 
And then you and I connected and I started to see Procana and I'm like, holy cow, you're doing everything that we're already doing, but in a technology that actually has an elastic search. So I can just search security and then everything comes up for security. And you have the summaries in there too, which are just so powerful and um, full transparency for everyone listening. I am on the board of advisors with Procana. So I completely stopped that service as regulatory matrices because of how powerful your platform is and how much this is needed in the industry. And a lot of people just don't even know. I mean, the training aspects, the auditing, um, how you can just upload all of those different documents. And it's also a project management tool because you can assign different things like just so powerful. (laughs) 